For over 116 years, sugar beets have been grown in southern Alberta. The province is the largest producer of beet sugar in Canada with an 8 to 10 percent share of the market. In the past, growing sugar beets was a labor-intensive process with farm workers needed to irrigate, hoe, thin and harvest the crops. Much of this work was done by hand. Today, with modern methods, biotechnology and more efficient equipment, the sugar beet industry has become more environmentally, economically and socially sustainable. Like many other crops in southern Alberta, it's irrigation that enables our farmers to grow beets. Irrigation and Alberta's long hours of summer sunshine make it a sweet spot for this crop. The province's 200 plus sugar beet growers produce the only domestic source of sugar in Canada worth close to $200 million annually. Many of the families are third and fourth generation. Beet farmers and their families plant and harvest 28,000 acres of beets, which produces an average of 750,000 tons of beets and refines it into 120,000 tons of sugar that have been grown, harvested, processed and packaged right here in southern Alberta. Providing work for hundreds of workers directly as well as hundreds more in service industries such as equipment dealers, auto, electrical, irrigation and other support industries. The beets are seeded in the spring. When supplied with plenty of sunshine and water by fall, this tiny seed will have grown into an average two kilogram sugar beet. During peak use, the crop uses close to two inches of water per week and can use a total of 20 inches of precipitation on an annual basis. Harvesting the beets in the fall is a multi-stage operation. Conditions must be right to harvest. The ground must be wet enough that the harvester can penetrate the ground to lift the beets out. If it gets too dry, the roots break off. If it gets too wet, the equipment will get stuck. First, the beets must be topped. The topper, called the defoliator, removes and mulches all the leaves and places them between the rows, leaving a clear pathway for the harvester to lift the beet. The harvester then extracts the beet from the ground, removes most of the soil, and lifts the beet up onto the back of the truck. These trucks then take the beets to receiving stations, which includes the factory in Tabor, where they're stored until it's time for processing. The temperature cannot be too cold as they don't want to put frozen beets into the storage piles, nor can it be too hot, putting hot beets into the pile. A consistent temperature is best for long-term storage as the sugar beets are stored outside until they can be processed. Sugar beet growers do not plant beets in the same fields year after year. The beets are rotated every four years. Other crops in the rotation may be potatoes, cereal crops such as wheat and barley, flax, hemp and canola. Sugar beet growers, like all farmers, are concerned about the environment. They and their families' futures depend on caring for and improving the land. They need to grow more with less and are growing varieties of beets that require less toxic chemicals to be applied for weed control, use less water, and sequester carbon to the benefit of the environment. Sugar beets benefit all of southern Alberta. They give us a safe, secure food supply that is grown and processed locally for domestic consumption and for export. They provide a livelihood for the farmers and their families and employees as well as the hundreds of others who work for the processors and other supporting industries. When you visit your local supermarket, Look for the black stamp on the box that starts with the number 22, indicating that it's Alberta beet sugar. Alberta beet sugar is used by consumers, industry, and many local bakers. Locally produced sugar is valuable to the beekeeping industry in Alberta, as beekeepers, after removing the honey from the beehives, feed the bees sugar water to keep them through the winter. Byproducts from the sugar manufacturing include sugar beet pulp, which is fed to cattle, as well as dried pellets used for feed. The sugar beet growers and their families support their local communities through scholarships, donations, and volunteering. 
and are great stewards of our natural resources. All of this builds stronger and more resilient rural communities. As long as Alberta grows and processes sugar beets, Canadians can be guaranteed a safe and local supply of their favorite natural sweetener.